Hello, welcome to this edition. This is breaking news on the news headlines from Nigeria newspapers mainly. So we go first daily post, you come to daily post, you see Nigeria takes two steps forward, two steps backward. Obasanjo. Um, I'm really, I am not believing what Obasanjo is saying because Nigeria takes two steps forward, 10 steps backward. That's Nigeria for you. Well, we'll go on. We'll see Ali Gotangote accuses 100 irrelevant. Breaking 40 killed in French bandit attack on Benue community. Hmm. Benue community. 40 murdered, 40 murdered in attack, fresh attack in Benue State community. Shame, painful. If most of you that don't know, Benue State is the place they called food basket of the nation. And in this food basket of the nation today, 80% of the indigenous people farmers are in idp camp 20 percent murdered by the same people who are still yet continuously murdering them despite the cry for hardship and the nigerian military assuring people assuring the people promising people that they are now protecting the farmers yet we see today being the 9th of august 2024 that 40 persons has been murdered or killed by the bandit. Who are these bandits? They are Funani headers. Hmm. Well, this is the news you have or we see from, from uh, what, what is this? Uh, Daily Post newspaper. Nigeria can never, we never, is never going to get any better. We come to Punch newspaper. In Punch newspaper, we see an NPCL demand 4.7 trillion petrol import refund from who? <laughs> Nigeria. Nigeria. Federal government threatened contractors over Enugu on Asia Road delay. Mm. The government are the ones responsible. They award themselves the contract, they take their percentage, and they are here to tell you they are working for the road, which is ghost road, ghost contractors, ghost contract. Whew. Nigeria, Nigeria. Justin, government abduct journalists, wife, two daughters in Cardona. Government abduct journalists, wife with two children in Cardona, three killed in Lagos, Ibadan Expressway. Well, all these are not the kind of news we're looking for. Let's go to Vanguard. In Vanguard, crisis hit Ohaneze Ndibu as youth win battle parents' body. Battle, battle. What, what are they looking for now? Political position, political recognition. They are not confronting the real issue. They are not bothered about what is happening to their people. They are only bothered in what, how they are going to get enriched, how they are going to enrich themselves more and more and more. You see how self-centered these people are? This is why I call them oppressors, not even politicians. They are oppressors because they oppress the people by morning, by night, by day. Nigeria is sitting on cake of gunpowder or basanjo. Well, um, it's not just a gunpowder they sit upon. They are sitting on, uh, on a time bomb, and this time bomb is about to explode. This time bomb is about to explode. Like it or leave it. This is just the truth. The time bomb is about to explode and when this time bomb explodes i'm sorry for nigeria because by the second of um by the second of december 20 
22. Uh, sorry, by the 2nd of December 2024, that's this December coming, Biafra redeclaration of Biafra independence will happen. And when that happens, I guess what we are seeing now is just shadow of the crumbling or gunpowder, whatever you call it, about Nigeria. Then you are going to begin to see the rating about the end or ending of Nigeria, according to what the Prime Minister of the Afro Republic government in exile have said and made clear to the world. And then um, let's see what do you have again in a Vanguard newspaper. Governor Makinde contacts President Tinubu says state didn't receive 570 billion naira. Who always fighting for money in Nigeria? Nigeria criminals everywhere. Criminals every corner. Hmm. We go to Primum Times. Primum Times. In Primum Times, in Primum Times, exclusive. Simon Egba hires American lobbyists to advance Biafran. Simon Egba, this is the man, Simon Egba. This is the man called Simon Egba. For those of you that don't know him, he is the man Simon Epa. And then the news is saying that Simon Epa hired who? Let's see. Simon Epa, exclusive. Simon Epa hires American lobbyists to advance Biafra's cause in US. Mr. Epa hiring the US lobbyist is coming a missed call for the Biafra agitator to be repatriated to Nigeria for prosecution of our alleged terrorism. Wow. This is, um, from what I know, from what I have observed, I don't see this to be true. I see this to be lie because um, the lobbyists uh, were not hired to protect or defend Simon Epa, rather to uh, to uh, hasten the coming of Biafra by lobbying about Biafra and not about Simon Epa. IPUB is a separatist group agitating for the creation of an independent state of Biafra from Southeast and some part of Southeast Nigeria. The two regions are usually called Biafra or sometimes Biafra land by IPOB and other separatist groups in the area. Mr. Ekba, a Nigerian Finnish citizen, often addresses himself as a prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. Well, as much as I know and I'm sure, I know that Simon Ekba was elected into the office of Prime Minister Biafra Republic government in exile and not him addressing himself. The lobbying firm Moran Global, Moran Global Strategies is owned by a former U.S. lawmaker, James Moran. Mr. Ekba applied in 20 in June 2024 to engage Moran Global Strategies for their services. A letter of the agreement exclusively obtained by the Premium Times showed the lobbying firm in the letter dated 10th July, 10th June 2024, and signed by Mr. Moran, its founder assured Mr. Epa that they would devote our best, that they would, they would devote our best effort to representing Biafra in line with the contract and agreement. Mr. Epa, on behalf of the bridge, signed the letter of agreement with the Moran Global, Moran, um, that the, the lobbies and Moran Global uh, Services on the 12th of June 2024. Major rule. 
the moral group according to the contract agreement we have mr ever addressed as prime minister not addressed as prime minister mr ever the prime minister of the Afro republic government in exile to convince the united states of america to support the session to support the secession of Biafra from Nigeria. On the terms of this letter agreement, a Moran group, the lobby firm, agrees to provide Biafra with strategic advice and uh, facilities, interaction with, appro uh, with appro appropriate members of the executive legislative branches of the United States government as well as third party interest. The lobbying firm will support Biafra's fundamental goal to encourage the United States government to support Biafra independence and, the, and the, to recognize Biafra as the only entity which represent Biafra, part of the agreement reach. The lobbying firm will promote the narrative to United States government and the non-governmental stakeholders that Biafra wants an established independent state. With the Biafra stewardship, we be a close ally of the United States as well as a bulwark against Islamic terrorism in the region. I'm happy to hear this. Part of the role of the MSG, as stated in the agreement, is to advise the United States government as private sector concerning the challenges faced by the people of Biafra. The lobbying firm will equally share the, the argument with the government about why Biafra should be recognized as an independent state from Nigeria. The lobbying firm will also educate United States of America and the non-United States of America stakeholders on issues concerning pertaining to the government of Nigeria, including, but not limited to human rights abuse, religious freedom issues, including persecution of Nigerian Christians, increasing Islamic fundamentalists with the Nigerian government. The Nigerian government alignment with United States, adversaries and the broader, broader security concern, among other topic, the agreement for the reach. It said the United States government would be encouraged to engage the Biafra Republic government in exile directly and through advocacy by United States Congress and others, including faith-based and the human rights organizations and the think tank. To work with the United States of to work with the United States government. The letter of the agreement also indicated that the MNC, that the, the lobbying firm will work with the with Mr. Epas Bridgie to secure an audience and the or interaction with the leadership of various organs of the United States of American government and the committees. Some of the organs of the United States of American government and the committees include the House and the Senate leadership, House Foreign Affairs and the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, House and the Senate Appropriate Committee, and the House and the Senate Armed Service Committee. Others are relevant House and the Senate Congress or Senate Congressional Cause Organization and the Working Group Senior State Department 
National Security Council and the White House officials, as well as the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. The lobby The lobby group also seek an audience with prominent religious, ethnic, and the civil society organizations, human rights organizations, media outlets, the Biafra, this, the Biafra diaspora in United States. Cost of contract. Mr. Epa, Brigitte will pay uh, the lobby firm a monthly fee of ten thousand dollars about 158 million million naira for services provided according to the contract agreement the document shows that the contract commenced on 15th june 2024 and would be concluded on 14 june 2020 five monthly fee would be monthly fees would be would be billed in advance on the first day of each month and the due on or before the 15th day the contract is renewable upon expiration on an annual basis on the same terms he said terrorism allegation mr egba has been linked to some terror attack in nigeria southeast in july the biafra agitator claimed responsible for the killing of four police separatists and a woman by gunmen in emo state his hiring of the United States lobby lobbying firm comes a miss call for him to be repatriated to Nigeria for prosecution. Lie. For instance, the government, for instance, Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State on 21st July asked some members of the House of Representatives to consider repatriating Mr. Epa of to nigeria to first persecution this is the pitamba and uh, this pitamba in his state called the nuku we have the funani headers who kidnap who behead who ransack who sack communities as we speak we have idp camps the IDP camps is not even the real IDP camps. This is people abandoned in the middle of mud forest in Enugu State. Pitamba is not addressing them. Pitamba have not addressed this issue. I don't know why he is too focused and too outwardly coming to stop the coming of Biafra and the interfering into things that are not his business rather than focusing in bringing peace and stability and security to the people of Enugu. The chief of defense staff, Christopher Musa, last June accused the Finland government and the European Union of blocking the repatriation of the Biafran agitator. But if you accuse them, you know, you believe they are doing the wrong thing. Why have you or your country sue them or taking them to the world court or the criminal court or any court at all you've not taken any step you only want them to hand the simon Epa to you on a platter of gold work for it if you are sure that simon Epa has carried out any activity based on your accusations last year the Nigerian Senate asked the federal government to collaborate with the Finnish government to extradite Mr. Epa for prosecution. And I am still asking the same question. Why are you asking? These same people that call themselves the senators has gone all the way to the United States to seek the repatriation of Simon Epa, and the United States booted them out. 
I wonder why they are beating around the bush. Why are you not addressing the problem? Rather, you are beating around the bush. Finnish government response to request for EPA's repatriation. On February 2023, Nigerian Ministry of Foreign Affairs summoned the Finnish ambassador to Nigeria, Lina Piva, Pivalinian, over a threat by Mr. Epa to disrupt 20, Nigeria 2023 general election. Geoffrey Onyema, the then Nigerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, meet with the Finnish ambassador and ask for the Finnish government cooperation in repatriating Mr. Epa. But what did they tell them? Also read Simon Epa claimed responsible for killing of four police operatives in Nigeria Southeast in Biafra land. However, Mr. Mr. Pai Vanian said that the Finnish ambassador said that although the Finnish government was concerned about the situation, Mr. Epa's right as a Finnish citizen needed to be considered as well. So everything has to be obviously done according to Finnish legislation, she stated. So, and I ask again, if the Finnish ambassador refuse your beg, your plea to repatriate Simon Epa for you, why are you not going to court? Why have you not gone to court? Why are you not doing any other thing to bring Simon to book? Since you know, since you're convinced, since you are sincerely telling the world that Simon Epa is a criminal, not even a criminal, Simon Epa is carrying out a terroristic um, activities in Biafra land. The same way you went on ahead to uh, proscribe uh, our leader, Mazenam Dekano, a terrorist. You proscribed Simon Eva, a terrorist. But every day we see terrorists carrying out activities in another Nigeria. You have not done every, anything about it. The same terrorist attack is the reason why they are, uh, you don't have food in Nigeria now. You are not even you are not even treating that. You are not discussing it. You are discussing buying food, importing food. Breaking Nigeria authorities clamp down on um, uh, end bad governance um, uh, events surround Lagos office with armed security personnel. They are stopping the protest by all means. So many people have been murdered. So many people have been murdered. Obasanjo wants the Nibu government of direct consequences if it neglect and bad governance protest demand. Mali jumped the other Swedish ambassador to leave country within 72 hours. Mali Mali, Mali Junta, Mali Junta, Mali military leader or military leaders ordered Swedish ambassador to leave their country within 72 hours, that's within three days. Ambassador. The ambassador must have done something wrong. It's not just the ambassador, not Swedish authorities, but the ambassador. I wouldn't go further to find out what the ambassador did, but demanding the ambassador to leave. Evil. We go to Sahara, right? Is it Sahara? No, we just been to Sahara. We go to the sun. The sun. 
the sun, no other news seen. And then I want us to understand that what we are doing, what we are seeing is just a tea of iceberg. The youth are not giving up on their protests. The youth are not giving up. Nigerians are not giving up. And there is this news that the main reason people are protesting for hunger in other lands but in nigeria in the northern part of the country we see um in the northern part of the country we see uh what do you call them we see um what do you call them the northern youth demanding for the government to come down they need a change of government different things different times happening the same people the same way the same land the same country i will have to end this breaking news here thank you for watching like this video and i will say bye for now